Pisces, there are interesting and complex things and, that are happening in the astrology this week. We're going to get into it as I shuffle these cards. Pisces, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Hi, everybody. My name is Michelle. For those of you who are just finding my channel, thank you for giving me a chance. And of course, for those of you who are returning, God bless you for giving me this blessings. Pisces, this is a weekly tarot card reading and astrology summary for Pisces sun, moon, or rising sign. It is overall an energy reading, so please apply the energy I described to where it suits your life. Remember, this is your reading, so apply it where it resonates. And check out your rising sign video, your moon sign video, because they may resonate even more this week. You never know. Um, there's always an extended reading where we go even deeper. And I hope that you come on over and join me for that. It's um, over on Vimeo and the link is down below in the description box and I'll attach it to the end of this reading. You can just click on it and head right there. If you really love my content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you know when I upload your favorite content. And if you love, love, love my content, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. You can just at Astrology Motivation or click on one of the cards that I put up above. I'll attach it there too. Um, that's where I do daily tarot card readings and live chats so you can interact. And it's a ton of fun and I would love to hear your voice. Remember to always leave comments below because I definitely want to know how you're experiencing this energy. So interesting, you have a traditional ruler, which is uh, Jupiter, and then you have uh, your modern ruler, which is Neptune. And they're in very contradictory aspects, actually, not to each other specifically, but they are both interacting with Mercury this week and in very different ways. Um, let's get into the astrology. Guys, I wrote, yeah, I wrote it down. I absolutely, listen, I'm an old lady, right? I got to write stuff down. Um, Jupiter is, is um, a square to Mercury, but Neptune No, Jupiter starts out square to Mercury. Um, let's talk about that. What does that mean? For personal growth, you can expect that there will be challenges with regards to communications, to being heard, to being received, to being understood, maybe even some tech technical difficulties. Now, Mercury is still very much not moving direct. It is direct, posted direct on Tuesday, Wednesday, today. But it honestly, Pisces is not going to be really getting back into gear until next week. So yeah, this could hold you back. And because of Jupiter's position with the sun and it's, hold on, hold on. It is sextile to the sun. Yes. Guys, that is extraordinarily powerful breakthrough. I want change. I'm ready. Let's grow. Let's expand. But then you got the square to Mercury, which means you got all these stupid Mercury retrograde kind of things happening to you this week. Breathe deep because it's not going to last forever and it's intentional. The universe is trying to slow you down. It really is. It's trying to, it's trying to throw stuff like obstacles in your way because it doesn't it may not think you're ready yet, to be honest. Just because you want it doesn't mean you deserve it. And by deserve it, I don't mean your quality or your morality. Just are you really ready to have your abundance? Are you really ready? Everybody says they are. But if they really are, it comes to you. So there are obstacles, I think, that are intentionally there to challenge you and see just how prepared you are to carry the weight that is the blessings that you've prayed for. Um, these are very spiritual planets, Neptune and Jupiter. So all of them, this is a very spiritual journey throughout your life. Um, Neptune is going to be semi-square to Uranus, which means it's having a problem with change. Change is irritating it. There's stubbornness there. You know, it, it's also maybe fogginess or not being able to decide which way you want to go or just this sort of laid back attitude is not really making things move forward. It could be not just laid back, but scattered all over the place because Neptunian energy can do that. So there's 
a desire for change. There's a push toward change, but are you ready for change? Um, Jupiter is sextiled Neptune, but, uh, but Jupiter is sextiled <clears throat> to the sun, but Neptune is semi-square to the sun. So there we have another contrast, right? Contradiction. You know, Jupiter is really, really like, like expanding and, and, and in a wonderfully active relationship with the sun this week, but Neptune is semi-square to it. So it's almost like, have you decided? You know how you want to feel, you know maybe where you want to be, but have you really made a decision? And have you kind of settled your feet into the earth and grounded yourself to figure out how am I going to do this? These are conflicts and challenges here. Um, Jupiter is going to be sextile this new moon. So you can believe that there are going to be some surprises. And because Jupiter is sextile the new moon, but I believe that Uranus, I'm sorry, I believe that Neptune is, is semi-square to it. At least it's semi-square to it most of this week. It's almost like I'm ready to go. Here's the opportunity, but I can't figure things out or there's still too much that's confusing me. That's all intentional. It's just another device to slow you down. So slow down, like take your pedal off the metal right now. And it, the week will actually look a lot better to you. It'll actually play out a lot nicer if you allow yourself to slow down and realize there's no reason to rush. It's already yours. All right, let's get into the cards. Um, I know my crickety crackety table. What came out? You planted these seeds a while ago. We have the three of wands, which is yes, your ships are coming in. That's really good news. I love that. Um, it's also liberation and freedom. Like you finally come through the hard times and you see opportunities now, maybe where you didn't see them before. But three of wands is largely the energy of, hey, you worked really hard for something. You made a really great investment. This could even represent your education it's coming back around now. It's like something that you learned and you actually went to school for, it's, it's paying off. <laughs> oh, that's actually a stroke of luck. Knight of Swords is taking action on things, saying something, speaking them, just going for it, like sharing your ideas, chasing down your ideas. This is a very active night, but it's, it's speech, it's talking. Now, maybe you had talked to somebody a while ago or you had communicated something a while ago and your ships are just now starting to return, this is gonna be happy surprise. And I, okay, this is why the universe was slowing you down. You're about to move on to something else. You're about to like dig your heels into just, okay, I wanna get going, I wanna expand, I want something brand new. But guess what? What's coming, what's coming in is something that you thought you lost. What's coming in, and this is this is why you can't catch the plane or you're being delayed by the bus, you know, for the bus, because something is coming into you that you'd already invested in, you'd already taken the shot at. And you don't want to miss that one. Maybe you'd even forgotten about it. But we have victory and success, public recognition, sometimes even a homecoming. That's the six of wands, and then eight of cups. See, now you can finally stop doing something that your heart isn't in anymore. If you've lost Pisces all sense of interest in something, now you can finally move on from it because you're not stuck anymore. You have options. Something has finally come through or it could represent something has finally come through that you already walked away from because you were finished. You were done with it. I don't know if this is a person or an opportunity. Take it where it resonates, but suddenly you're winning at something you'd already walked away from or you were already prepared to walk away from. Ooh, you need to leave comments below because I want to know. This is a moon card, guys. We have a, we have a very powerful new moon, like I said, in the astrology overview. So, and Jupiter is sextile too, which makes it... <laughs> It's, it's a new moon that is sextile Jupiter in conjunct Pluto. I mean, for real? I mean, it's like, can you say kaboom? 
like seriously, but it's because it's almost like the kaboom of the birth canal, like something finally explodes out of you. Something finally happens, opportunities open up. We have uh, conclusions are within reach and bring love into the situation, stop. You are the first sign that's gotten this card. This is the new moon card for this coming new moon. This is the new moon in Aquarius. Conclusions are within reach. Bring love into the situation. You about to know for, for sure, for real, if something's on or if something's off. As well as could be popularity. Does somebody like you? Do they like me? Do they really like me? Not necessarily about, you know, just in with the in crowd, something that you do, something that you care about. Is it going to be well received? Well, conclusions are within reach. Let's see what they are. Balance spirituality with practicality. This is Piscean energy. It's your energy. So you're filled with something. You've been trying to manage it and handle it. And maybe that's what you're being held back for. Just, just try to hold, just try to balance things out. Just give you a little bit more time. So this is very emotional. Believe in the impossible. Something very emotional is about to happen that you never expected to happen. Your dreams need a practical plan. What the hell does that mean? Let's get to the bottom of it, shall we? Let's start asking questions. First of all, what is this new moon? What are the conclusions that this new moon is bringing into Pisces life? What are the conclusions that this new moon is bringing into Pisces life? Um, disappointment. I think it's like, oh, okay. So this has to do with a disappointment, with you already being disappointed, or the conclusions bring you, at least at some level, disappointment. We have the hermit, so it has to do with work or something that you have been working on. Could even be with your health, a sense of you might need more balance in your life because you have been going so hard at something. Conclusions are within reach, the truth. This has got to do with either health or work, but there's some disappointment here. Let's get further. Okay, so what about the disappointment? Oh, stop. So this has been disappointing you for a while. Think about your, your most horrible disappointment. Like, what has it been? Has it been with dating? Has it been with career? What has it been? Because this is what the news, the good news is coming in. Wanna know how I know? Check it out. The Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands. <laughs> I mean, this is a new type of happiness. This is also a new start, a new kind of, maybe even relationship, something, somewhere where you could grow old together. Um, realizing that maybe you do wanna grow old with somebody. This is what, what I'm talking about, a change. You know, it's like you're, you're, what you're doing now doesn't fulfill you anymore. And this is partially the change, not just of what you do, but who you actually are and what you actually care about. Because you have been working on something for so long that it's just, it's just unfulfilling, a constant disappointment. Maybe what you need right now is a little romance, a new beginning, a new, a new romance. And if it's been stale and staggering, this is the time to go get it. Or your relationship is the happiest thing in your life right now. And especially through your career, it, it, your career is stressing you out, but there's so much support that's coming from your partner and they might actually be integral to um, helping you start something new. Their dreams need a practical plan. What is that? What, what's the plan? What should their dreams do? What should Pisces do? Magician, you should keep working on your stuff. You should keep believing in yourself. Your recipe and your talent is there. Um, okay. But we have nine of pentacles, which could be employment or going to work. And then we have the strength card, having to wait. So let me, let me say this to you. Having to wait for people, because Nine of Pentacles is this, having to wait for people to recognize your talent, your skill, or your, your value for your, for your trade or whatever you do, maybe even just an office job, but having, having to have people 
take their time in noticing that strengthened you. If you have been single for a while, it strengthened you, right? There's some sort of conviction and certainty that you have because of what you've experienced and the value that you earned from it, you're not conceited about. This is about humility because you know how hard you worked <clears throat> and maybe in some ways it's just that simple. Hold on. We have the sun card here. Can you like stop? Th listen, you are so strong and powerful now that this is what we're at. We're at finally being noticed and recognized maybe by a leader or somebody who is executive of some sort. This sense of somebody giving you a pay raise or figuring out that you don't need a pay raise, you can do it on your own. Whatever it is, this is success, especially, because remember the sun card is here, especially um, this is a success. Um, especially because you thought you lost it. It's making you appreciate something a whole heck of a lot more. And that's why you think it's impossible because it didn't come through initially. You've been waiting so long. Uh, we have the four of swords. Something's coming back into memory. Something's coming back or you have, you're required to once again, remember you're required. You're required to remember. You're required to reflect. You're retired to communicate or do something to communicate that you've done in the past. You're also maybe required to forgive the past, let it go and make peace with it. Whatever it is, or this could be happening on vacation, whatever this is, there is a sense of making things right by finding peace with your current place in the world and therefore accepting where you came from, where you used to be. Um, and all that you had to do to get through it. It's also a sense of, I just keep hearing memory, memory, memory. The magician and the four of swords, remembering, remembering a good time, remembering a happy time. Okay, that could be part of your manifestation, but usually the four of swords is reflection, you know, on what I've lost and the fact that I'm still standing a little bit of self-appreciation and reflection on, it's something that you created in the past. It's like you have to come up with it again. You have to remember it again. It's like, it's like going back to work in the same office after it was sold to somebody else or you know, an actor who takes the, part, the same part over and over again. It's like remembering it, remembering something that you created because it's here now. How long ago was this? How long ago was this? Was this event? Knight of Swords is here. So it could have been last air sign. We're about to be in Aquarius. So Libra, when did this all take off? Just need a few more details. When did this all take off? Five months ago, you kind of fell maybe broke or had some major financial fallout that you couldn't protect yourself from. Oh, I understand. So going back and doing that old thing is looking really good because it's a cash cow. But you have to go back and you have to take the cash. And that's why God puts you into this situation to back you up against the wall and make you say yes to some sort of operation or position or partnership that you didn't want initially, you didn't see the value in. And now the opportunity is changing because you ain't got much of a choice. You need the money, you need to make the money. Or you need it to make the money. Yeah, that's what it is. Five of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles is okay. You get a little bit of money, you gotta hold on to it. You can't be big spendthrifty or taking a lot of um, taking a lot of chances. I think this could also be it. You're reflecting on it. You're reflecting back and looking at how everything ended up, and you have a difficult decision to make. It's like go broke or stay stuck, but keep your coins to yourself. Also a reflection on the time when you didn't have the money 
to even relax for a second. So there's actually a lot to be grateful for in your reading already, Pisces. Who is this Queen of Swords? She's underlying energy and way in the future. This is your way forward. This is also somebody with a serious and rational mind. This could be somebody along the way. Let's get into the extended because we're gonna go deeper. The link is below. I'll see you guys there.